Hey everybody, Karen here. Welcome back to Unpinned Creative. Today I'm going to show you some fun ways that you can use an aluminium can in your junk journaling. So I um, have just a mini Coke can here. I'm going to show you how I deconstruct it and then some of the cool things you can do with it. Pop this stuff out of the way. Alright, so you just start with a clean can, give it a rinse out and let it dry properly. Um, you can get some really cool coloured cans these days with cool prints and stuff on them. This is just a fairly standard Coca-Cola can. And then you need a sharp craft knife. It is a bit scary and dangerous, so please be careful if you need to wear some rubber gloves or something like that. I, to date, have not cut myself, but there's always a first, and it'll probably be on camera. <laughs> not that you'll see it, because I won't, I won't um, make it a live video. Anyway, take a sharp craft knife, and then you just need to push the point into the top of the can, just below the lip. You'll be able to feel where it's much firmer so there's about maybe five or six millimeters that is quite solid below the rim and you want to go below that to the soft part of the aluminium just push your knife in slowly and very carefully keep your thumb out of the way and you should be able to work your way around the can until you have cut that top off When you get to the end and there's just a little bit le left, I find it's easier to just grab your scissors and snip the last part with them. This tab top can be used for all sorts of things. Um, you can use it to attach fibers and textiles to and pop it on the top of a tag or something like that um, if you want to. And then we're just going to turn the can around and being careful not to push down too hard on the soft end now, we're just going to do the same thing. Carefully put your knife in and slowly move it around the can. Just go slowly and gently, making sure to keep your thumbs and fingers out of the way and then when you've got enough cut round you can use your scissors and cut through the last little bit. That was the hard part done and out of the way. Now you can take your scissors and choose a spot on the can to slice right through. I choose usually somewhere where there's lots of text or something like that and just cut a straight line through and then you have a nice piece of aluminium. Be very careful with your fingers. You don't want to slide your finger along there, along any of the sharp edges because you probably will cut it. To flatten it out because it is going to want to keep curling, you can bend it a little bit this way There you go, then you should have a fairly flat piece. Okay, so what are some of the things that um, we can do with this? So many cool things. So one of the things that I have done is make a tag. So easy peasy, just like you would with um, paper. You cut a tag shape. So however wide you want the tag, and it's really easy and simple to cut with your scissors. Snip off the corners.
Now, to take care of the sharp edges, it is fairly, you know, it's not too sharp. It would be okay like that. And for this one, I left the edges. I just snipped the corners so they weren't so sharp. And it doesn't feel like it's going to cut me. I mean, I'm sure you could cut yourself if you tried really hard, but it feels pretty good. Um, but I'll show you now how to take care of sharp edges if you are worried. So snip off the sharp corners. Like so. And then grab your scoreboard and scoring tool. If you don't have a scoreboard, just use your ruler and the tip of your scissors or something like that. Um, or a ruler, the corner of a ruler. Now we're just going to line up the end of that tag with one of the lines on our score board. Um, leaving three or four millimeters and make a score line. And we're going to do that all the way around on all the edges. You do have to push quite firmly. There we go. Now, normally when we're scoring paper, we would then fold, so this is your valley, you would then fold back. But um, with the aluminium, it's much easier just to push it over, over the valley like that. And you're going to do that all the way around and then once you've pushed it over use your bone folder to push it flat and then what that gives you is a nice not sharp edge so folding it over again if you are worried about the sharp edges put rubber gloves on or something like that just to protect your fingers a little bit more but as I said, um, I haven't cut myself yet. And maybe I'm playing with fire. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and do that all the way around the tag. can snip off any corners that are a bit too difficult to fold or a bit too sharp for you and use your bone folder to help. Okay, so we have folded those over and now we have nice, smooth, not sharp edges on our tag. And um, if you want to, you can cover the back with paper or just leave it as it is. So I have made this tag here. As I said, I simply, so I corrugated this, this tin and I found this um, tool at the op shop. So it does have French bill on it and it's for corrugating paper or card, corrugating card. And so I tried it with my aluminium and it worked. Now, as I said, I hadn't, I didn't fold the edges before I did it. And um, I'm not sure if you'd be able to do it with the folded edges because it is a little bit tricky to turn um, and get started. So yeah, I don't think it will work with the folded edges, but that's one thing you can do if you have one of these, if you happen to have one of these, a very cool tool. Um, and then I just glued some music paper, a bit of um, sack 
and then I put some punched flowers on top and sewed them on with some sewing thread. Then I punched a hole and put an eyelid in and put a little little um, fibre on the top. So that is the first thing you can do with aluminium ca cans. Make a cool tag. The next thing you can do is punch with your punches. So I have just this little punch that I got at the op shop and what you can do it works quite well with this tiny little punch it is a bit tricky but I just pop a piece of the aluminium in you have to push quite hard but it does work and then you get a cute little aluminium punch out so that's what I used here with these little red flowers and you get to choose which side you use whether you use the printed side or the silver side which is really cool um, I've also done some bigger flowers so here is one that I have put together this has two punched out large flowers in the aluminium can and it they sandwich just a piece of music paper now if you had um, alternating sizes of flowers it would look really cool but I only have one size of this type of flower punch I have a tiny weeny one and a big one so I'll just show you how the big one works so it's just a stamping up punch slide it in this one is much easier The tricky bit then is getting your aluminium out. You have to wiggle it around a bit and you might have to cut it like so. But it does eventually come out once you've done wiggling. Just like punching with paper, heavier paper or card, really. Um, it's just that the aluminium bends and makes it a bit tricky to get out. But you can see that it does work. So, yeah, for this one I punched out two large flowers and then punched out a piece of music paper. The aluminium doesn't seem to damage your punch at all, but um, I don't know how it would go if you used it a lot, to be fair. And then I took one flower, placed a paper flower on top and then another piece of aluminium and just kind of staggered the petals a bit like so I used a little bulldog clip to hold them together which I seem to now have lost <laughs> let me go find one Okay, then I just used a little bulldog clip to hold it all together. Used my pokey tool to poke two little holes in the center. You can pierce it, the aluminium quite easily. It's not difficult. And then I popped a Another piece of sack on top and a button and stitched that on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, another cool thing you can do with aluminium ca cans. This would make a really cool topper for a, a normal tag, like a card tag. You could pop that on the top and have it sticking out the top of your journal. That would be really cool. Um, or just an embellishment on your page or something like that. So there we go. There's two things we can do with aluminium. The next thing you can do is make tabs for your pages. So I basically did um, the same thing as with the tag. Cut a rectangle the size I want my tab or you know double the size I want my tab to be. 
folded it I you can fold in the edges then fold it in half Once you've folded it in half, open it back out and grab your circle punch. Line up the crease with the center mark on your circle punch and the edge of the aluminium with the halfway mark on the side of your circle punch. Punch. Do the same on the other side. And then you can use your bone folder to push that crease down really hard. And there you have a tab top. Now what you can do is you can either have the printed side out or the aluminium side. So you can see here I have folded over the edges before I did all that. Um, so then you can stamp on this with um, alcohol ink and I had a sample but then my child came in and used it for something else <laughs> here it is it was not embossed before but he saw the embossing machine out and thought oh I'm gonna try that so he did but I don't know if you'll be able to see but I had stamped on this and with alcohol ink and that works quite well you just need to give it time to dry let me see if I've got some alcohol ink here. I'll see if I can show you. And a little stamp. It's probably not going to be a very clear image because I am not doing this properly. But there you go. You can stamp on it. You can just use your um, your ink refill, refiller, reinker bottle and put drops on um, the aluminium and then smush it around with your finger and that will colour the aluminium. I can show you a sample of that. So in my last creative healing video I used some aluminium to create this swing um, tab thing to hold the door shut and I coloured it with alcohol ink and my finger. So I just put a few drops on from my reinker and smushed it around with my finger to make the aluminium black. You could use any colour, obviously. That's another idea for the aluminium. You can use it to um, as a little swing tag to hold things shut. Okay, so that is... Option number three for thing, full things to do with aluminium tabs. You can punch a hole in that, put an eyelid in it. Easy peasy. Let me close my alcohol ink before I dry it all out. Alrighty, what else? Well, I've already shown you that you can emboss. And embossing looks really cool on the plain side of the aluminium, as you can see here. Let me, I'm going to take this tag that I made just a minute ago. I'm going to pop it in my embossing folder, just like you would a piece of paper. Easy peasy, you only need to go through once, and it creates a really sharp, clear, defined, um, embossed image. Isn't that cool? You could then go over that with some alcohol ink to really bring out those um, that design. Looks really cool on both sides. I love it. So there you go, you can emboss. And the other thing you can do, which I have done here, is use die cuts. So I used a tiny little clock hand die cut put that through my machine and easy peasy it was so easy to cut it came out so clear and defined it was even um, it was actually easier than cutting card or paper with my with these these dies so um, yep no problem at all to cut with dies then you can use you could use something like this as a um, lock you could put it as 
part of the closure on your journal and it could be like a lock for a key um, which I'm actually doing on a journal I'm making at the moment so you'll see that eventually when I finally get that finished um, and then these cool things could obviously be the hands of a clock or you could put pop a brad in there and it could be the swing tab closure so many different cool things you could do with that um, or any other die and then the last thing that I thought was really cool is you can make a nameplate for your journal covers so again just take a square piece of aluminium fold over the edges like I showed you just a minute ago punch some little holes in each corner and pop some brads through and then you have got a cool nameplate um, for the front cover of your journal and then you can stamp it you can um, collage on top of it um, yep lots of different things so that was a quick and easy little video to give you some cool ideas of things you can do I'll wait till the motorbike goes past of things you can do with an aluminium can and add something a little bit different to your journals. Alrighty, thanks so much for joining me again today and I'll see you in the next one.